So this is probably one of the most unhinged people I've ever talked about on my channel. Maybe my entire life, you know. Um, but yeah, so this is Felix Cypher right there. I don't, I don't feel like that's going to get me to monetize just the fit itself. What is that? I feel like Cypher, if you ever heard of this person, is someone who believes in their heart of hearts that they is the reincarnation of that one guy from Germany, I don't know, around the 1940s, the one called Hitler. Yeah, the one who like didn't make it to art school, that guy. Um, yeah. God damn it, man. And that's an incredible thing because there's so many people that like we just would never have access to if it wasn't for it. Like so many, like, there's 8 billion people on the planet or something like that. There's gonna be some freaky people. And God damn it, man. This is a definition of bitchless. <laughs> This is what no pussy or dick does to a motherfucker. I mean, let's ignore like the Hitler thing for two seconds. That haircut. Oh my God. It's atrocious. I know. Typically, I try not to make fun of people's appearances online on my channel. I try and like, you know, even if I criticize someone, do it with an ounce of respect. But once you start talking about like being Hitler and stuff, you kind of lose that aspect of it. You know, like once you do that and you proudly claim to like believe in nazi ideology i don't know i just really don't give a fuck if i make fun of you but you might be like noah uh that it's just a funny coincidence you know he just happened to dress up in nazi attire <laughs> okay you know that might be true but look at this one that's on his instagram it was it's deleted now but uh it says eugenics could actually optimize our species i don't know also look at the nose ring that's a pretty unique piece i wonder what else it looks like <laughs> oh i wonder i wonder also you just gotta love the <laughs> the, the hashtags of popular opinions hashtag politics hashtag lgbt oh yeah because if you didn't know I'm pretty sure the guy's trans I'm pretty sure he's a trans man or trans mask. That's crazy. Imagine, imagine me and Hitler, right? Someone who, I don't know if you know this, destroyed and killed and massacred gay people, trans people. Like, that was one of the first targets. In the Holocaust, a lot of people don't know it. Trans people, gay people, they was given a little, like, pink triangle, right? Pink triangle. Uh, they dug, they designated that they was gay and they was also sent to camps and killed and shit. The leading research center for trans healthcare. And just trans people in general was in Weimar, Germany. And you want to know what happened to it? The Nazis burned it to the ground and we lost all of like this treasure trove of information. And it set back trans healthcare fucking like decades. That'd be crazy. You as a man to implement this, you you die. You 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 fight in this war. You you do all these things. You kill, you massacre millions of people. You kill yourself because it's it's too late. You know? It's over. You wake up. Use a trick, <laughs> and uh, you know it's not just the aesthetics. What? Let's hear. Let's hear the man himself say it, okay? It's time to address the nose ring drama. People are essentially calling me every name under the sun because I had the Santa on my jacket. So I need to tell you guys a little something about me. And you can call me crazy. You can call me whatever you'd like. Any name under the sun. I'm very in tune with my past and my past lives and lifetimes that I've lived before this one. My last life just so happened to be a very infamous one. Me offing myself was one of the first memories I had from that lifetime. It came to me when I was five in my nightmares. You can see right where I shot myself too. And just so many other things throughout my life have connected me to my past. And you can go say, oh, go get on your meds again, you nutter. Been on so many meds, and none of them have changed what I saw when I was five. Hey, hey, that's crazy. That's crazy, cause like. You need to take those meds. You need to take those fucking meds. So, I mean, I try not to make too broad a statements or say anything that'd be like stigmatizing language, but that motherfucker's lo loco. Like, that motherfucker's crazy. I don't, I don't. What the hell? You can call me crazy. You can call me whatever you want. But when I was five, I had a dream. I had a dream and I was, I, I was one of the most notorious villains of history. And I decided, you know what? I'll lean into this. I won't repent for any of this. I will lean into it. I will believe Nazi ideology. I will wear Nazi symbols on my body. And also, I will do this. I don't know if you understand what's going on right in this here scenario. What we have here is him. He posted his nose ring or whatever. You know, the one that looks like, I don't know, a certain someone's famous stash. A Holocaust survivor stitched him. And was like, yo, that's just not cool. To which this guy responds, ha ha, it's me, sorry my man, I do a camp old pal, but I'm back for a reason. Da -da! 
You know, it's one thing to like be a Nazi and to also believe yourself to be Hitler. Like that's that's one thing. But then to see it, uh, a Holocaust survivor, someone who went through actual hell, like genuine hell, and go, ah, I was back. I will do it again. That's fucking evil. That's fucking unhinged. That's like the shittiest behavior possible. And I understand. They was already a shitty person from the start. If you was a Nazi, you was a shitty person. I don't know if we have to make that clear. Uh, but yeah, if you say Nazi things, if you believe in Nazi shit, you've got Nazi imagery everywhere, you really like those types of ideas, you was a bad person. I think I can rest on that. I can rest on that and be like, you know, that's a good statement that I said. I don't fuck with Nazis. Like, that's that's a good statement, I think. Also, one other thing. I don't know how true this is. You know, I don't know how reputable of a source this is. But apparently, when he first popped up on the internet back in February, you know, and then he, like, disappeared after he got out of the backlash, you know, because people don't really tend to fuck with Nazis. The only thing that was up was his Spotify account. And what's interesting about his Spotify account is it showed a playlist that alluded to the fact that he might have a kink for egg laying, which means the act of something laying an egg would turn him on. What he's looking at right now is a video of snakes he has. His new account is called Snake Lord. I don't know if you know this, snakes lay eggs. He owns a lot of snakes. There is hearsay that he gets turned on by Eggland. That's not cool. Yeah, all of this happened back in February. All this big drama hub hub happened back in February, right? Well, beginning of this month, in March, he came back to the internet and he made this video. So it's been a while since my involuntary disappearance for three months from the internet. I think it's about time that I come back and say something now. First things first, I wanted to make a quick apology to just one person, and that is the Holocaust survivor who I made a very unsavory comment towards when I was first going viral. I was rather in shock at what was happening, and I was not thinking too clearly. Well, I, I don't really believe you Hitler now, because, I don't know, something about Hitler and, like, you know, his whole thing makes me think he wouldn't apologize for saying something like that. I don't know, just doesn't seem very Hitler-like. It shouldn't have come out that way. I shouldn't have said that to him, so I'm sorry to get in. The next thing that I wanted to say was I have been in treatment for about three months now since I was gone. Um, it was for depression, anxiety, and after a suicide attempt, they sent me here. If anyone cares to know, I'm doing a lot better now, so yay for me. Um, however, I do want to just let people know that my views on myself, my past self, whatever, everything that made me blow up in the first place, that hasn't really changed. I don't really predict it changing, honestly just it's affected me for so long with that being said i do want to make it clear that i'm probably not going to talk much about this in the future however i do want this channel to be more like stuff about my life artwork snakes maybe some music so yeah take that as you will again i'm sorry to get in for what i said and hopefully the future can move on and we'll all be much happier. Which, I don't know, it's a very weird video. Like, you know, glad he didn't kill himself. Like, regardless, I don't want people dead. Like, that's not cool. Like, death is not a good thing. You know, when people die, it sucks. Um, but, uh, this is like where you'd be like, yo, sorry, I was, an, I was a Nazi. I, I don't believe those things anymore. Uh, but instead you said, oh, by the way, uh, I've been depressed. I tried to kill myself. Still a Nazi, though. Just won't talk about it. Okay! All right, okay. My dude literally was like, you know, I hope people can just like forget and like we can just all pretend like I'm not a Nazi and like maybe I can like talk about my music and my life, you know, the life where I think I's fucking Hitler. Obviously, uh, people didn't really like that, you know, like he's don't really have people on his side. Uh, which really, you think like at least one person would be sticking out for Twinkler, but nope, nope, not not really. 
I, I don't think Nazis would want to fuck with them because, you know, the whole trans thing. Very weird. Very weird intersection of ideology and identity. It don't really work, you know what I mean? And then he just like started posting stuff about his snakes. And then everyone in the comments was like, you know, no, no, I don't fuck with this. I, I don't think it the help they need. Cause obviously, I don't know. If you have the delusion that you use Hitler, I, I think it's safe to say you most likely need some help, you know? And I don't mean that in like a condescending mean way. I mean, I know it comes off that way because I did make fun of them for like the past, I don't know. What has it been? Like eight minutes? Uh, but no, like I, I hope that like at some point, like they can live like a, a normal life. Right now, even though delusion like has negative impacts on like actual people, you know? Like they did harass a Holocaust survivor for being a Holocaust survivor and being Jewish. Like, sorry, but... Mental illness don't protect you from criticism. Because, like, at the end of the day, like, regardless of anything, like, any illness you have, whether it's physical or mental, um, your actions still have consequences, and they still affect people. Like, we can take it into account, like, be a little more understanding, but you did harass a, a Holocaust survivor and saying, you know, we'll do a better job this time at, you know, killing Jewish people. Uh, yeah. So, my opinion on this guy, weird little freak, weird little freak is a way to, uh, yikes. This is one of those things where, like, you make some jokes and then you really think about it. It's like, I was really thinking about this person more and kind of just at a loss for words. Anyways, if you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, like, whatever. Blow me up so I can pay for my healthcare, my trans shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I just make videos. Whatever. Leave a like, don't. I don't care. Bye-bye.